Hi, welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today we are talking about the Adnor Textura Filament. So Adnor sent over a few spools uh, for me to try out and maybe do some review on. And I'll, I'll be happy to do that. I mean, it's a Swedish company, it's a local company, and I, uh, I love to supporting that. So they offer some really cool materials. Uh, among them are the Ad North Textura. It's within the series of Ad Architect materials, which is a type of material that they aim for architects. So they have flair and Textura right now in the Ad Architect series. So this is a type of material that I've been asked for a lot back in the days when I used to sell 3D printers and materials. There was a lot of designers and architects looking for material that had a matte finish something that looks really good and something that they don't have to finish as much. So uh, this material were existing back then, I would be a, a super happy salesman. But yeah, so let's check out what's really cool about this material. All right, so before we start looking at all the details of this material, let's appreciate the packaging. So there is this reusable box that you can open up. It has this vacuum seal. You have the spool inside, you have all the information on the, both the spool, you have some RFID if you want to get a link fast and, and order new spools. Uh, but this is a super nice packaging. You can, I usually store other spools in these as well. It's great for storing. It's also packed, in, of course, in a carbon box. It looks really good, all the information about it on there. But yeah, it's super simple to reseal and that all makes it super easy to store your materials and actually have them uh, yeah, stored correctly. All right, so the main part about the Textura filament is that it, it really looks matte. It's an extremely matte finish, as you can see here, and it's actually very similar to SLS parts, uh, both in feel and like the looks of it. Of course, maybe not the strength. So all this matteness actually comes from a plant-based uh, fiber. So there's actually a tiny bit of um, biodegradable fiber in this one. I hope it's biodegradable, at least it's biofiber. It works almost like a wooden filament or something similar to that, if you're familiar with that. The plant-based filler uh, apparently helps to keep the layers hidden and it's supposed to make them invisible. But to be fair, there are still layers, if you look at these models, really, really close by. But on some of the top and bottom sides are extremely beautiful. There's there's no way you really can see, un unless you're in the perfect light, there's no way you can really see the layers. So it's really, really nice. So yeah, just have a look at these samples and uh, let's talk more about the material after that. So I only got the 1.75 millimeter spools and I ran them through a few different types of machine. Among them, the six machine, which has a heated chamber. I also run them on a heated plate and on the Bowden extruder. So I feel that I've tested it among most of the different types of machine and of course on cold beds as well. Even though the printer settings recommend like 190 to 210 and a printed bed on one, uh, sorry, 60, it's fine to run on cold beds as well. Um, I haven't seen any like warping and tendencies. So I was using mostly magic goo or uh, print fix to make sure that the, the filament or the, yeah, the models were sticking to the plate. It worked super fine, but of course in 60 degrees build plates, I mean, that's, that's the perfect match. That was, it was working really well. Now, since this material is more of a fiber type of material, like wooden uh, filaments, you could have some issues if you're pr trying to print too fast or too cold. I had some issues with this machine where uh, I ended up clogging after really long prints. So it was probably due to heat creep, but it felt like it was also uh, like one of the materials with maybe more fibers in it. It's actually the white one for me. That's only with one machine. As, as soon as I changed another machine, it was running smoothly again. 
So it's just something to consider that don't run this too fast because there's, there is a lot of fibers that has to go through the extruder. And I assume that it's going to be a little bit more difficult on smaller nozzles. I didn't try that, but that's just my guessing. So if you have a bigger nozzle, let's say a 0.5 or 0.6, you're going to have super easy times printing large prints, especially architectural models. If you want to do big buildings, big sceneries, that's going to be super easy with the, um, with the bigger nozzles. But I mean, other than that, it's a super easy material to get out. It, it behaves a lot like PLA. It's smooth, it's easy to print. There's no f like annoying fumes. Uh, it does handle overhangs good, but not perfectly. I mean, this model here is a great example of trying to overdo it a little bit. I mean, if I fine tune the cooler, I could probably get even better here. But as you can see, it's very optimistical to print this, especially with layer lines of like 0.2. So yeah. Not perfect on all types of overhang overhangs and bridges, but it's, it's really good. So speaking of that, I didn't really have to modify the temperature or the settings a lot. I basically printed on whatever it said in there. As I said, I had a little bit of issues with this machine. If you do have any issues on your machine, Amnord has a really good guide on their website on how to actually get a good print results. So they explain everything from how it's looking, what you need to adjust and what kind of settings you got to do. I really like that way of, of communicating with you, the customer or us, the customer on how to do that stuff. So yeah, with the simplicity of this material, Adnorth is really targeting like the, the types of customers who aren't maybe, let's say they want to have finished results, a good looking model. So Architect, for example, they have high standards. They need to have a matte finish for the types of projects. Uh, they also, I, I think, target designers quite a bit. And this is actually the first material that I've, I've been told is considered a non-printed model. So my girlfriend actually approves some of these models because they don't have the layer lines. So it's a really beautiful material. And, and to this date, that's like the only material that someone at my home have approved as a material I can print ornaments with. So for example, this coffee filter holder is, is perfect. There's no layer lines, it looks super nice. It feels like, like a finished product and yeah, she approved it, which is a big thing in, in my home. Even printed some cool mask like this one here. Uh, <laughs> kind of dorky, but I like it. I, th I, think, I think it feels pretty fun to, to be able to print with. But yeah, let's take a more uh, closer up look on some of these models because I want to show you how the layer lines are more or less invisible. So let's check those out. So just looking at these models, as you can see, this is a perfect architectural model. Uh, this one here as well. This one has a little bit of layer uh, vibration, but that's from the printer. Uh, you can see them even clearly here, but I really, I mean, this is really nice as an architectural model. Makes the model really smooth. I mean, we still have the, the normal issues with uh, like some, like you see here, overhang, but look at this top surface. This is no ironing, nothing like that. Just stock settings and it's amazing. This one here as well is around centimeters or seven centimeters tall. And I mean, just look at the finish. It's incredible. Can't really, well, it's out of focus, but here, I mean, it's very hard to see the layers, but you can spot them in the, in the exactly right light, but you see really how well the fiber hits the layers or hides the layers. So yeah, I apologize for this. I'm trying to use the macro here to really get some details. I mean, look at the stairs here. It's, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the, with the finish here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's try to conclude this review-ish video. Um, Add North Textura, it's a uh, really interesting material, um, really easy to use, okay, gives you some great finish on the models. And yeah, I think I recommend it for most type of a little bit more exclusive uh, design finished models. It's not the cheapest one out there, so maybe not use this for all your fun prototyping models. Maybe use this for the actual models that you want to place somewhere and, and have shown off. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions about this material or just go ahead and talk to Ed North. They're super happy to talk to you guys. And yeah, check out the links down below. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, share it with anyone who needs to print some good looking models at home. So maybe this is the way you can convince your partner on how you can actually get a printer at home printing finished models that they'll approve. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye.